Providing effective recommendations in your e-commerce is key. In this video, I will show you three tricks to build recommendations that make your customers buy. Hey guys, I'm Juan Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. If you have an e-commerce or sell any service online on your website or through a newsletter, you must provide relevant recommendations to your audience. After building dozens of recommendation engines for multiple companies across industries, I bring you the main insights you must consider when you are building a recommendation system. There are multiple types of recommender systems, from global rankings to highly personalized recommendations. And choosing the right algorithm is not always easy. I will show you three tricks to build the most efficient sales machine without compromising user experience. Plus, I will leave a bonus PDF in the description with three additional tricks you must consider too. So the first trick, provide multiple levels of personalization. In the first trick that we always use at Neil AI is working with more than one type of recommendation or recommender engine. Why? Because different people react differently to different types of recommendations. So we want to gather and catch all of them. Some people trust the general population and go for the most popular products or items in your catalog. Others are more sensitive to price, quality, experience, etc. many other variables. So I always suggest to build at least the following types of recommendations. A global ranking based on the most popular items. This will help you provide relevant products to all users, even to those for whom you don't have any data. This ranking should be in a reserve area of your main page where the user expects a less personalized experience. Then consider a people also above X product. This is what you see in Amazon when you are browsing a product page. It is quite useful to increase your average ticket. Include this type of recommendation on the page of each product. Finally, add a personalized recommendation in your homepage and newsletters, where the user expects the best products tailored to their past purchases and preferences. The second trick is use the right algorithm. To provide personalized recommendations, you can go in general with collaborative filtering approaches that mainly take into consideration the user's preferences of products and how other users interact to those, to those same products, or with content-based models that mainly take into consideration product and user attributes such as, for example, the color, size, description, photos, etc. While most people go directly to collaborative filtering, I prefer to take a content-based approach in plenty of cases. Why? Because of a very well-known issue in the recommender system community known as the cold start problem. In many industries, products have a short lifespan, so they don't have enough interactions to allow for good recommendations using collaborative filtering. Same thing happens with users. For example, if I'm building a recommendation algorithm for a real estate listing website, both houses and users have just a few interactions during a limited period. A family only looks for a new home every few years and every property is listed on the market every few years too. So it makes more sense to base your recommendations on the products and users' characteristics instead of the actual interactions. You can include also the advantages of collaborative filtering by comparing a given product with the products the user likes and dislikes through their features. But that's a more technical concept and we can talk about it in person. And the final trick, recommend users to products and products to users. Most people focus on recommending products to users. So what is the product this user will most likely buy? Of course, this may increase your conversion rate in the short run, but it will leave some cold products in your warehouse. So I combine the recommendations with a user to product, where I look for the most likely buyers for the cold products in storage and send them a special recommendation. You can combine both types of recommendations to balance the two factors, conversion and stock rotation. Of course, there are many other tricks we can discuss and you can apply to improve your recommendations, but these three will set the right foundations for your e-commerce. Remember that in the description, I have a PDF with three additional tricks to sustain growth in your e-commerce. Remember to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye. -bye.